Hey everybody, happy Sunday. It is sunny and beautiful here in Middle Tennessee. So if you don't catch the live and you're local, I will certainly understand the need and the call of the great outdoors is enormous today. Um, I'm inside and I am working on classes for the next two weeks and I'm quite excited. Um, I kind of feel like I had um, an epiphany of sorts over the weekend and I have lots of new products to play with and I really had a hard time trying to decide what to show you today and I have to confess that there is a, a, a new version of the software that I'm using um, and so it's, I know the transitions are going to take me a few minutes they, they just will, they just do but I wanted to show you um, some of the so, well, I want to talk to you about my epiphany right um, I uh, went away in early February and did a class and made 10 cards Okay. Ten cards using a stamp set called Strong and Beautiful, which was here a minute ago. Okay. Strong and Beautiful, um, and the Happiness Blooms Designer Series paper. And I've been using that paper a lot. I've been using that stamp set a lot. The, the, the Happiness Blooms stamp set a lot. I love it. And I love that it is, um, I don't know, I've used it for birthday, I've used it for just just everything. Um, I love the bright colors. It, it just calls to me. Um, but I wanted to do something different and I realized that a couple of things. One, that these cards, the, the, the recipe, if you will, for these cards is really straightforward and something that a beginner stamper could really do, um, follow just some, some basic um, basic designs and repeat them with different colors and different papers and even different stamp sets. You could use Happy Birthday in here easily. Um, any stamp set, thank you. Um, any greeting set that you have, you could probably adapt to this really easily. And that was one of my um, epiphanies. Well, maybe that's kind of a combination of two. One is that it was it's pretty basic supplies, right? Um, you can I don't know, a brand new stamper, you know, someone that's just um, ordered the starter kit, or even maybe they didn't decide not to order the starter kit, but they ordered the, the trimmer and a punch and some paper and a few inks, you'd be set to go right here. So we're going to we're gonna show you how to make that happen. I'm going to show you some tricks with your trimmer um, that maybe you didn't think about before. Um, we're going to continue using this strong and beautiful set um, a little bit today. Probably because, I don't know, Facebook keeps telling, well, there's, what was it, International Women's Day this week. Okay, that's great. Thank you for the day, Hallmark. But um, we as women need our time together. We need our friends. We need our, um, our time to, to rejuvenate our souls. And I am blessed to have several groups of women that do that for me. And I'm able to see them fairly regularly. And that's that's great. That that touch um, helps keep me moving. And I'm I'm very very busy. I'm not any busier than anybody else, but I am very busy. Um, I choose that. Okay, so don't don't let me complain about it because I choose to be that busy. I love being that busy. Um, but the the sentiments, the greetings in this stamp set are all about encouraging. They're encouragement. Um, you are loved completely. I mean, how often do we just need to hear, hey, I love you? That's that's kind of special. And I love the friendships and the relationships that Stampin' Up! has brought me. Um, so if you're watching this, I love you. Um, you're amazing, and that's a fact. I think that's um, that's great. You're, that's amazing, isn't it? Um, there are a couple of Mother's Day um, sentiments. Happy Mother's Day, and then God made you my mother. Love made you my friend. Um, to the woman who taught me what it means to be brave. You have what it takes to be unstoppable, and I couldn't be more proud. Um, I actually broke that sentiment up um, and, um, it, when I redid these cards. Um, you have truly been a shining example to me. You are like a diamond, resilient, strong, and beautiful. So I'm using this over and over to make a lot of cards so that I have opportunities when for whatever reason, someone comes into my heart, into my mind, 
I'm able to pick up one of these cards and drop it in the mail and remind them that you're special because we need to hear that. We need to know that. So um, that's a bit of what we're going to do today. And we're kind of going way off the cuff, which is not my style at all. I hope I've prepared well enough. And I apologize. Hazel just went down for a nap. And I'm the only one convinced that she should be napping so far. Um, she normally settles down pretty quick. I don't think she can hear me. I hope not. Um, anyway, so the first time I did Happiness Blooms, then you might have seen that I posted this card on Facebook. I cherish you, my true friend. I know it can always count on you. So this is using the Floral Romance Designer Series paper, um, the lace embossing folder that's in the Occasions catalog, and then the Strong and Beautiful Sentiments, and the Floral Romance flower um, embellishments. They are, they look like this. There's white, um, petal pink, and fresh fig are the colors that go with that. And I even did the envelope. So, how cool. So, I want to show you how, how I did this card, but we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to use some different paper, and I'm going to show you, because this embossing folder is lovely, but what if you don't have the big shot? What if you're a new stamper and you want to add texture and dimension to your cards, but you don't have a big shot? Big shot's a big investment, and, and, and I don't recommend, I tell new stampers, I tell new team members, don't feel like you've got to run out and buy a big shot, because you don't. Um, you can wait on that purchase, um, and and you should. Don't don't get don't let yourself get overwhelmed with this. It, it's not necessary. So, all right, what else do I have for you? Okay, so um, this weekend a birthday birthday club as well as a strong and beautiful class. So I'm not going to give away all of my secrets here, but not that they're secrets, but I want do want to show you. So these are three of the birthday cards that we'll be making on Saturday and I really have to know if you're coming um, by today. I've got to place that order tomorrow and I'll tell you the ribbon that I used on these three cards is on back order so we will be substituting ribbon um, but they are still going to be gorgeous cards I promise, I promise. Um, the strong and beautiful cards we're going to be using the floral romance um, the stamp set that I've just shown you and I've got ten cards all already already and gorgeous, right? So each of those classes are $30. Um, the doors are open from 9 to 6 on Saturday. So the Strong and Beautiful class is one that you're going to do at your seat. So you can do it any time between 9 and 6. And the birthday class starts at 9. So let me find... And she's so upset. Okay, um, so here are the two cards, and really, the difference is in the paper and the colors. Still used ribbon, still used same sizes, um, used two different embossing folders, but everything else is basically the same. It's a sketch. The word sketch throws me off. I want a pattern. I want a template. I want to know exactly what to do. So I'm going to really go outside of my comfort zone when I do this today. What I did was, so this painted, painted Seasons bundle suite, I don't know, it's brand new and it's only available in March. Um, I just got mine. So I've got the Designer Series paper and the Designer Series paper lists on the back the corresponding colors. So I grabbed my inks. I got two stacks over here of the inks that correspond, and I grabbed some cardstock from that list of corresponding colors, and we're going to recreate that card. Maybe a couple of the others. We'll see. All right, let's just see where it takes you. Um, over here on the corner of my desk, I've got some more new products that I'm just really dying to play with. So this one, um, more than words. It's also a limited edition. You may have seen some people playing with that, but I'm really anxious. I love that. And then um, Fable Friends. Hey guys, it's time to do some Easter. I got a terrible glare. There, that's better. 
It reminds me of Beatrix Potter. And then this is the Painted Seasons that goes with this um, paper that we're using today. It has a set of framelits that go with it. This is a new um, um, embossing folder that, I don't know, I've got to get to it. i just got to get to it. I don't know that we're going to do those in our cards today, so I'm going to get them kind of out of the way. But not so far that I forget about them. And I've been working downstairs so that I could kind of hang out with my husband because he's only here on the weekends right now. My hair is a mess. I'm sorry, Kelly, forgive me. Um, all right, so for our card, first let's pick, let me, let me, let me take you down. Um, why is it? I do that. Now someone needs to tell me if I've got this right. I if I do. I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. So let's pick, up, pick out our paper. So we have mushrooms, a lovely um, happy parade wash on the background. We have this beautiful pool party and um, honey clover, kind of a succulent looking flower with um, I'm going to say that's grapefruit grove on the other side. So some monochromatic um, patterns on the flip side. This beautiful floral. This is really calling to me. This might be the one that we have to use, but let's keep working. Oh, gorgeous. Palmy clover on the other side. And then, oh, some pine cones and pine boughs. So, for some Christmas cards. Oh, pool party wash. This is very faint. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going back to this floor, and then I need my card base. Okay. I'm gonna be thinking about the ribbon choices that I have too. All right. So here it is the Poppy Parade. I really like that. And here it is with Tommy Clover. Hmm. Okay. Darn. That's really hard. Um, of course, I could go on a white card base like I did with this one. Right? And maybe that would be Maybe we'll do it two ways. There's no, there are no rules, right? There's just time. So I'm going to bring my trimmer over. And first, I'm going to pack up this cardstock. So this basic trimmer is, is phenomenal. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Okay? You've got measurements across the top, across the bottom, down here down to sixteenths of an inch. This folds out to give you fourteen inches, fourteen and a half inches all the way across. So my designer series paper is twelve by twelve and I need a three by four piece of it. So I'm lining up the three here and then I can see that it's straight and I've bumped it against the edge to keep it straight all the way across. Then I've got two blades on my trimmer, one for scoring and one for cutting. I'm going to go ahead and cut this down, set that aside, oops, almost cut it 3 by 3 I want it 3 by 4 Okay, now, actually let's go ahead and cut both, and we'll do it two ways. And leaves us three. Maybe that's what we're supposed to be paying attention to here. Alright, so I'm going to cut um, a basic card is half a piece of cardstock. And so if you cut it across the eight and a half side, 
you're going to cut it at four and a quarter, and then fold it in half at five and a half. So I'm going to score it. Okay, so there's a green base. And then we do a hobby parade. And people ask me why I do my cards this way. They're more accustomed to the traditional style. But I like this because it's easier to photograph them, usually. So there's a poppy parade base, and a white base. So there are three bases. Now you can see my, I did a layer under it of the same tone on tone. So let's see if I can find my ruler. My ruler is clear, which sometimes makes it hard to I'm going to need another one um, that isn't clear. And I'd like to jump on Facebook and confirm that I am where I think I am. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can do it this way. So, all right, three and three quarters by five. So, when you're doing your card layers, you just kind of come in by a quarter of an inch each time. So, I know that I need three and three quarters by five. Is it going to be the white one? White one first. So you are five. Cut it that way. And then three and three quarters. So there's a white one. And then I need a poppy parade one. So I apologize, I'm not able to see comments right now. I will come back and answer your questions in a bit. Um, seems like there's so much I need to tell you. So um, my Facebook page has all the events of next week listed, as well as a special celebration um, last chance on the 30th of the month. And you know, the, the great specials of celebration end on the 31st of March, and I hate for you to miss something that you're waiting on. And they're while supplies last, and we've had lots of really popular things sell out, which is makes us sad too. So don't don't wait. I'll post the um, link to my Facebook page where you can order online at any time. Um, I'll post that in the video, and. Um, See, now I try to do too many, too many things at once. All right, so we have that layer. Then we need, so for our, oh, actually, that's right, okay. Then for our white one, we're going to want a color, um, and I'm going to go with the Happy Parade. So this one needs to be four and a quarter by three and a quarter. I cut my designer series paper at three by four. So this layer needs to be a quarter of an inch bigger than that. Okay. So if you're not sure what I'm doing here. So this is my white layer. And I have this. So this is the piece that we would emboss. Right, goes there, and then these two go here, 
and then our sentiment gets in a circle on top. So that's how that one is going to look. The Poppy Parade has a red embossed layer. And I can already see that I'm really liking that one over there. Okay, so it needs a white. This needs to be, and I'll need two of these at four and a quarter, three and a quarter. In case you're wondering, Hazel's gotten quiet, so she's settling down. When I set my time for my Facebook Live, I didn't anticipate her being here, but her mom has a fun outing tonight, so. It's for me. Alright, so that is how that one is going to come together. Are you all finding a favorite? I have my dimension. Then we need the circle for each of our sentiments here. So, pretty sure it is two and a quarter. This is a punch. This is great. Punches are an inexpensive way to add some different shapes and textures um, to your cards without making a tremendous investment. I'd like to show you today how you could take just the elements that you could get in your starter kit and make all kinds of different parts. So, I probably should have measured the things. It is. Okay. So, that's the basic card pieces. I'm going to set this trimmer off. And then, let's get our stamp set and find I cherish you, my true friend. Now, these are... Um, the new clean stamps. So they are really sticky. I never put my label on my stamps when they were just clear mount. And I do now because it's the label that has the stick on it, right? I've yet to hit anybody. And I've been doing that now since January, so. Alright. So, um, I like the monochromatic look of the ribbon. Okay, so this is I did the Fresh Fig ribbon on the Fresh Fig card, and then this has white baker's twine on this one with the blue. So, I think, I want to see what my, my ribbon options are. I happen to have Palm and Clover ribbon right here. So I have that with this one. And then, my Poppy Parade ribbon is kind of heavy. In this. Um, but if I use the green, am I going to look too Christmas? Yeah, I think so. Um, I have the white baker's twine for that one, so okay, let's, let's just set that out. Um, See, this one's really heavy. I'm not sure about that, but I've got my ribbons out now. So, 
um, in each case I stamped in the color of my, um, my card base or this. So looks like I'll stamp two in Poppy Parade from here and here. There's my Poppy Parade. You know, with our inks, you don't you don't sink it in because it's really just a tap, tap, tap. And you can see. I love working with circles because I feel like it's a circle. So, oh well, okay, maybe I should have been paying attention a little bit more to what I did because um, I feel like I don't have to get it straight. Okay, let's try that again. So I'm going to stamp down with an even pressure. And lift. Oh, much better. All right. And the third one is going to be common clover. And a friend of mine shared a tip with me for cleaning on my apparatus. Cut my chamois into four pieces. Wow, well, I like that. I like that for all of them cleaning, not just for my apparatus. That's awesome. Now you could, and I, I will, I'm just probably not going to take the time on the video today to show you, but I would create white liners for the inside of my cards. Maybe we will. Let's, let's see how the time is at that point. Now, if you were a former demonstrator or somebody that is just looking at, um, I don't know, if your wish list is $100 long, then you need to really take a look at the, the starter kit. Become a member of Stampin' Up. I call it a membership because it's not a business, it's a membership. It lets you take 20% off of your orders, of your future orders. For at least, at least until July, um, and well, at least through June. And you see that? Right? You see. No, I guess it is in July. Um, that gets you into the new catalog, so you get to take advantage of celebration, um, a vacations catalog, and uh, and a discount on the new catalog as well. So let's talk. If your wish list is $100 long, promise me that we'll talk. Now, if you already have a demonstrator, you need to talk to that demonstrator, obviously. Um, okay, so here are the pieces. Now, um, I had embellishments that went with the, um, the two papers I've worked with before. I don't really have a set of embellishments for these, so I could cut little flowers, could punch little flowers like I did here, and I probably will do that. Um, but let me show you the trick with your trimmer. Oh, you know what, let's do two things. Let's get out the Big Shot, and, um, and let me do this, this one with the new gorgeous embossing folder that I just had. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see again. Okay, so here it is. This is the texture dynamic. So remember, I'm only going to use one of my plates. And you're going to have to forgive me because it is off camera. So it's taking a moment. How gorgeous that is. 
right? Okay. Now, with the green, I'm going to show you with your scoring blade a way that you can add some texture. We're just going to score every quarter of an inch. I'm just giving it a little dimension, coming over just a quarter of an inch at a time. I'm basically embossing straight lines with my trim. So, right? And you could use either side, whichever one you like. Another way to add a little interest is to stamp in um, in clear ink or in in the same color as your cardstock. Now the white one is the one I have left, so the white one is the one I need to use. And Let's pull out this Painted Seasons stamp. And here is our lovely flower. I'm just going to peel the back off. You need to do this when you first get your stamps, right? And just peel that off. And then this is where my label is. So I leave it attached to the sheet. And I come back and I'm going to line up. Up, which is probably not something that you can really see very well, but this gets my label placed correct. Okay, so now I have just grabbed my person mark and pen, which is clear. I'm going to stamp randomly on here. You know, this is one of the also that you use for embossing. Use this person mark ink. <laughs> Mine is a hmm, lovely cupcake. And I doubt that you're really going to be able to see anything that's going to be very, very subtle. It just gives it a little shine. A little shimmer. Right. It would actually show up more as a tone on tone on one of the other colors, more so than it will. And it's the verse mark on this one. I don't know that you can you know, such a good on my side. You can't see anything, I feel sure. Um, but that's that's one that's one technique. Or I could stamp very lightly in one of the other colors. Um, but that would be that might be a little busy in our situation. Not exactly what we're looking for. Okay. So now let's put this together. I think I like the raised side up. So that's what I'm going to work with. And I'm going to work with loose window. Truly, just a little. I don't want it oozing out. 
but the tomboy gives me a little wiggle room. And I've got a full quarter inch on each side. And I'll put here these two together. And so the tomboy gives me a little, a little room to, a little time to move my. until I'm satisfied that it's straight enough. Um, you know what I did? I meant to actually put the ribbon through here. But it's not my first rodeo. I've done this before. So it's, it's already set more than it's going to allow me to move it. So <laughs> I'm going to do a, a cheater. Which really doesn't surprise anyone. I'm going to take a glue dot with my um, paper piercing tool. Okay. And then I'm going to just stick this where I want it behind the tooth. And then I will try and get it very straight on the other side. I'm going to trim it down. I'm going to put a blue dot on this end. And do the same thing. Oops. Shorter. So I'm just cut my card stuff here. Right. Another blue dot because it's just easier than fighting with that one. This. this I'm going to actually pop up on dimensionals, which I have right here. Dimensionals and Stella are staples in everybody's craft bag. And I did put one in the middle because I don't want any soggy metals. Or saggy. Clearly, I spend time with the toddler. Saggy is what I meant to say, if not soggy. But with the toddler, both things are pretty inevitable, aren't they? Oh, and I have the bonus having a line. Right. And then I'm going to call my clover. Put dimensions on this as well. Don't feel bad if you can't tie bows. I certainly could not tie a bow until very recently. A couple of people gave me some, some pointers that have helped. And I think my bows are amazing. I think they do the trick. Okay, I love it.
I love it just like that. Um, I could come back. Okay. Yes, sit tight. This is from Happiness Blooms, and it's called Me Clover. So, mm -hmm. I'm not so good at placement sometimes. Beautiful. Okay, so there is the green one. Now let's put together the red one. I'm going to remember this time. I can put these layers together. But I think this ribbon is going to be too heavy to go all the way around. Just go partially around. And I don't have any specific, I'm not trying to keep this at the halfway point. I could, but stick to my finger. As long as it's close to even on both sides, I'm okay. Okay, so I told you about Saturday. Saturday is a birthday class. I'm using the bright colors in the sweetest, how sweet it is bundle. Um, a couple different stamp sets, the cupcakes coordinating framelits too. Then um Strong and beautiful class, making 10 cards. Each class is $30. If you take both of them, then you'll choose a celebration item. Um, and then, if you want to just come and work on your own things, that's great. Come and join us for $15. I will serve you know, a light lunch, lunch of some sort. I'm not going to pretend I'm going to cook, I won't, but, you know, the crock pot, I can do that, the instant pot, I can do that. Um, really green, we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Now, this, it's really kind of close to get in there and tie a knot, so I'm really faking a knot. I just cut off the length and just... Tie a knot in it. And then 
$175 worth of products for $99 plus tax, no shipping, as it really is the best deal ever. Um, if it would benefit your life to have a supply of products, then please, please talk to me. Oh, wow. Okay, I love the way that turned out, too. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to add to that, if anything. Okay, then this one, um, I'm going to do... <laughs> okay, so truly mine. Is that the right label? Oh, my versa mark is just not showing at all. So, I picked the wrong one to show you how to add color. Um, and I don't want to do petal pink. I feel like I need to, I feel like I need to impulse it. Because, okay. We're just going to use this one again. There are definitely other ways, but this is faster than going back to our trimmer and adding quarter inch lines. So I've got to rearrange my office again. Um, things are just kind of out of balance. All right, so let's put this down. And I think that I'm going to punch some little flowers from the Happiness Blooms, which is both this one and the red one. The baker's twine that I'm going to take around a couple times. No magic, I just leave enough to make a tail. Go around twice. And then leave enough to make a tail. Tie a belt. And this is kind of a trick. Um, I don't know. I, I tie a knot. I don't attempt to tie a bow. On this point. So I'll tie a knot, then I'll tie a bow. And I'll worry about making that bow pretty once I get it on the card. Tombow is nice for your embossed images because it gets in the grooves where the tape sometimes doesn't have a chance to. So, did you all have a favorite emerge from this exercise as we were going along? Because I think I did. Um, we'll have to put them all side by side and let you all vote. Maybe I'll figure out how to post a poll, and you all can decide which one wore it best. Um, of course, the, these are handicapped that they don't have envelopes decorated for them. And my bow is too close. Okay. That's going to just end up in my palm or not. So. So we'll take a poll. This really should be a double when it's going to be. Yeah, I just did something weird, but
Um, I wanted it to be two strands instead of just one. So I cut off the first bow. This way I can get it where I want it to. Then, let's kind of mess it up on this. So, do these little punches, and let's punch. Um, And the other day, it would be all over here just jumping out at me. Let's see if I find any scraps here. It's the center of these little flowers. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, there's a tool over my bag. It makes that a lot easier. I'm just going to add a dot of blue. I want these little flowers. Take a picture. See how sticky. Pick up. Okay, so let me show you. is a host code as well. Let's move these back up here. I'm going to 
would be really nice if... Hmm. Okay, I gotta mess with that because clearly the yellow is not gonna work for that purpose. Okay, so let's look at, at these and I'll post photos and you all can help me decide who were at best. These are the three that we just made. Aren't they the coolest? And then these are the two that I made previously. So, what do you think? I love them all. I really do. Um, I have to say that, darn, I thought the white was emerging as my favorite, but the Poppy Parade, maybe. Although, I'm a green girl. I like green a lot, too. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here today. And um, I hope that you've learned a little bit about how, with just a few tools, right? A trimmer, um, some designer series paper, a few coordinating colors of cardstock and ink, a two and a quarter inch punch, um, a pack of embellishments, or these little trio of punches, um, dimensionals, snips, a block. Um, that's really all you need to create Oh, and a stamp set. Okay, you, you got to have a stamp set. All right, so a stamp set, um, a greeting set, and you can create lots, um, you can create this same sketch, this same design over and over. And you've got lots of other colors in, in that, or lots of other patterns in that pack of paper. So you can make it different, or you can make a bunch all at once. Um, I, I think these are beautiful, and I hope you do too. I enjoyed standing with you today. Have a fabulous week. I hope that you can join us on Saturday or the following Thursday is my regular monthly card class. And then the end of the month is a special last chance for celebration. So check out the Facebook events and please reach out if I can help you in any way. I'd love to have you join my team. Take advantage of this very special offer that ends March 31st. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.